To understand the change, go back to 1947 and the invention of a switch called a transistor. The transistor, a new name. Computers have processed information on transistors ever since, getting faster as more transistors were squeezed onto a chip, billions of them today. But it takes that many because each transistor holds information in only two states. It's either on or it's off, like a coin, heads or tails. Quantum abandons transistors and encodes information on electrons that behave like this coin we created with animation. Electrons behave in a way so that they are heads and tails and everything in between. You've gone from handling one bit of information at a time on a transistor to exponentially more data. You can see that there is fantastic amount of information stored when you can look at all possible angles, not just up or down. Physicist Michio Kaku of the City University of New York already calls today's computers classical. He uses a maze to explain quantum's difference. Let's look at a classical computer calculating how a mouse navigates a maze. It is painful. One by one, it has to map every single left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn before it finds the goal. Now, a quantum computer scans all possible routes simultaneously. This is amazing. How many turns are there? Hundreds of possible turns, right? Quantum computers do it all at once. Kaku's book, titled Quantum Supremacy, explains the stakes. We're looking at a race, a race between China, between IBM, Google, Microsoft, Honeywell. All the big boys are in this race to create a workable, operationally efficient quantum computer because the nation or company that does this will rule the world economy. We got an inside look, starting with a microscope's view of what replaces the transistor. This right here is one qubit, and this is another qubit. This is a five qubit chain. Those crosses at the bottom are qubits, short for quantum bits. They hold the electrons and act like artificial atoms. Unlike transistors, each additional qubit doubles the computer's power. It's exponential. So while 20 transistors are 20 times more powerful than one, 20 qubits are a million times more powerful than one.